I remember the exact date. It was July 11. It was the dead of winter. It was in the middle of the night. My first time was in a movie theater. I was at a chili cook-off. And I had cheerleading practice that day. And I was like, this is it. No, what's happening? It's definitely happening. And that was where it happened. That's the first time I got my period. I remember being in Latin class, and we were like in these chairs that were like concave, like a little bit, um, these blue chairs. And I remember getting up at the end and seeing that the concaveness of it had been filled in by like a pool of red. <laughs> it was definitely pink. It wasn't red like it is now, and it looked kind of stickyish. And I thought, huh, how did melted candy get into my underwear. And people, I think, thought I was nervous because my fake my fake crush was there. Like They're like, oh, you don't want to get in your swimsuit around Tommy. It's like, no, actually, I'm gay, and I think I'm bleeding from my vagina. I sort of looked down, and my immediate thought was, oh, shit, this is where I'm going to die. It didn't really look like what I thought my period was going to look like. For like two days, I just kept throwing out my underwear, and my mother found my underwear when she was doing the laundry. I don't think it was me. Maybe someone else's blood got on it. She pulls out a pack of light days, like a nice fat stack, like a nice stack of cards. She hands them to me, use as many of these as possible. I decided to start manufacturing my own maxi pads using uh, Bounty, because it's the quicker, quicker effort. I used my sock, um, and it really did the job. When I was in seventh grade, these were really intimidating girls, and they, they looked at me and they were like, we don't use pads, we use tampons. My mom was against tampons. She was not gonna let me wear them. Uh, she's Thai, and she believed that would take away my virginity. My dad came to me and said, Kristen, Congratulations, you're a woman now. And he gave me a high five. Oh. I went to the grocery store and stole a box of tampons, but they were, I didn't know about tampons and they were super plus. And I pushed the tampon in and it's sticking half out. And I just put my underwear on, put my pants on, continue with my day, just be waddling around. Because I was my first friend to get the period, so there's like a little sense of winning in that competition. I didn't want to get it at all. <laughs> just wanted to be a boy or something. I felt, I think, kind of sad about becoming a woman in a way. Because I was like, I'm still a kid. Like, I don't want to deal with this. It wasn't that big of a deal. Even now, I still hate my period, but <laughs> it's a part of me. Some of my friends from camp got me a cake so we could all celebrate, and I blew out the candles, um, and that was my first time.